This video will show you how to complete the Acquisitions Fiscal Year Closeout, also referred to as year-end, in Sitka's Evergreen. The Fiscal Year Closeout functionality in Evergreen will create funds for your next year, roll over your encumbrances, and deactivate your current funds. Before you run the Fiscal Year Closeout procedure in Evergreen, Make sure you've gone through the year-end checklist and checked off everything on the list. The checklist can be found in Sitka's Evergreen Acquisitions documentation. There are a few important things to do in preparation for year-end. Resolve all pending purchase orders by activating or deleting them. Receive all items in Evergreen that you have received physically. Create and close all invoices for items to be paid for in the current fiscal year. Decide on when you're going to run year-end and decide on dates for an acquisition's year-end freeze. Libraries should not run year-end between 9.30 a.m. and 11 a.m. Pacific as EDI invoices are retrieved by the system during this period every morning. Once you've completed the year-end checklist, run a fund report for the current year. You will want to have this to compare to reports you will run after year-end to ensure that everything has worked as expected. The template for the fund report can be found in the reporter under Shared Folders, Templates, Sitka Templates, Acquisitions, Funds, and is named Fund Report by Year. Make sure you clone the template into your own folders before running the report. When you are ready to run your fiscal year closeout, Go to Administration, Acquisitions Administration, Fund Administration. You must have Acquisitions Administrative permissions to run year-end. Make sure Rollover and Propagate are set to Yes for all of your funds that you wish to roll over. If you're a multi-branch library, select the top level of your organization in the Library Selector. Click on Fiscal Propagation and Rollover. Ensure the correct year is selected. If you're a multi-branch library, check the box for Include Funds from Descendant Org Units. The boxes that are checked will determine what actions Evergreen performs. If no boxes are checked when the Process button is clicked, Evergreen will create new funds for the new fiscal year for any funds that have Propagate set to Yes. If Perform Fiscal Year Closeout is checked, Evergreen will deactivate funds for the selected fiscal year, as well as move unspent and encumbered money to the corresponding fund for the next fiscal year, if that fund has Propagate and Rollover set to Yes. If Limit Fiscal Year Closeout to Encumbrances is also checked, Evergreen will only move encumbrances to the corresponding fund. Unspent money will not roll over. This checkbox only displays if the library setting allow funds to be rolled over without bringing the money along, is set to true. Dry run is checked by default, and when checked, Evergreen will do a test of the process but will not actually make any changes. Co-op support recommends always starting with a dry run. Check all of the relevant boxes, including dry run. This is a check to make sure the year-end is going to run as expected before doing the real thing. Click Process. Evergreen displays a preview of the changes to be made, but does not actually make the changes. When you are ready to run your actual year-end, check all of the relevant boxes and uncheck Dry Run. Evergreen will warn you that this will do a closeout for real. Click Process. Evergreen will display the fund propagation and rollover summary. This includes the number of funds propagated or created for the new year, the amount of unspent money rolled over, and the amount of encumbrances rolled over. Click Close. The funds tab will refresh and the current calendar year will display by default. Use the year filter to display the previous fiscal year if different than the current calendar year. All funds where propagate and rollover are set to yes should now be blank in the total encumbered column and show zero in the combined balance column. 
active should now be set to no for these funds. In my example, you can see that I have one fund where propagate and rollover was set to no, so that fund is untouched by the fiscal closeout process. Use the year filter to display your new fiscal year. Your encumbrances will display in the total encumbered column and the combined balance for funds with encumbrances will be in the negative as money has not been allocated to your new funds yet. See our video, Acquisitions Fiscal Year Start, for information on allocating money to your new funds and getting started with your new fiscal year. Run the fund by year report once for your new fiscal year and once for the year you just closed out. Compare these two reports to the report you ran before performing fiscal closeout. Make sure everything has moved as expected. If something doesn't look correct, contact Co-op Support right away. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.